Hey there guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, just wanted to go over briefly how to use the document scanning in iOS. Uh, specifically, this is iOS 12. And uh, basically what you'll do is uh, you have to use iCloud Notes. So if you have your uh, notes synced with another uh, email address or service such as Gmail, uh, you want to go into the iCloud Notes and uh, you'll be able to use it from there. So in here, you'll have a couple of options. So you've got the uh, boxes here, which are like Excel, and you can make a uh, different, you know, uh, like lists and, and that kind of thing. So let's see. Oops. All right. I'm not sure how to delete that now, but we'll go ahead and uh, just continue here. Uh, you've got your text options here, so you can change your text options. Um, bold, italic, underline, uh, strike through, bullet points, um, numbered bullet points, uh, the justification or the the indentation justification of the actual uh, paragraphs. And uh, then you've got the document scan, the plus button right here which gives you the option to do that. So all you have to do is uh, hit the scan documents full, uh, button here, and then just find the document you want to scan. And sometimes it'll automatically do it for you, but you can just go ahead and wait for it and then hit the camera button there. And then if it's in a, a weird shape, then it'll come up with this and give you the option to, you know, alter how it's gonna look and it does a pretty good job of correcting itself so whenever you do this it's not going to show up like this it'll actually flatten itself out so let's go ahead and keep scan and as you can see there it's done and you can go on to the next one or we can go back and take a look and see how it looks so as you can see I took it at kind of an angle but it did flatten it out and it got everything pretty much perfect on there. Um, with the exception of at the top, you can see where the rings were on this uh, notepad. So uh, you can actually go back in and still crop that. So it goes back to that same screen here. And say I wanna just go ahead and try and remove more of those rings there. And then we'll go ahead and hit done. And there you go. It almost looks like a perfect page from that notebook. So another thing you can do is you can alter how it looks. So this uh, notepad was in black and white, so it looks fine as is, but if you wanted to say, um, okay, so it's showing in color right now, but you can also use grayscale. And just to show you the difference in that, so you can see it kind of made things a little bit darker there. You can use black and white. And that kind of looks like a copy machine kind of thing. It kind of looks like it copied it there. And then you can do photo, and that'll show it, it pretty much exactly how it looks in the picture. And the only thing that, that stinks about that is you can see kind of a yellow tinge in the screen there. And uh, that probably won't be useful unless you're actually taking a scan of a photo. So with color, I think that looks pretty good. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to hit done. And then if you want to go ahead and save it, go ahead and hit save. All right, so now it's saved in there. Now say, for instance, we want to go in here and... Uh, do something with this document. So say you took a scan of something and you want to uh, save it to your iCloud drive, you can do that. You can uh, copy it to your Dropbox if you wanted to do that. You can also airdrop it to your computer if you wanted to do that. So in this case, uh, say we want to message it to somebody. It'll automatically put it in PDF format and you can send that on to whoever you want to. And that's kind of nice. All right, so we'll go ahead and hit done on this one. And let's go ahead and do something a little different. So another thing we can do here is, uh, say you wanna take a scan of something in color. So we'll go back to that little plus button here. We'll hit scan documents. And then we'll go ahead and use the magazine here that I have with an article. Now, see the yellow is, it's trying to recognize the different parts of it, but it's okay if it doesn't. You can go ahead and uh, hit focus there. You can tap to focus, and then we'll go ahead and uh, 
hit the camera button here. And see, because it was having that trouble with it, um, it gives you the crop on that one yellow portion that it did get. So we're going to go ahead and stretch this out. And as you can see, in that little bubble, it magnifies it so you can get uh, pretty precise with uh, where you crop it. So that is uh, pretty nice there. Okay, I'll go up a little bit more here. Now, I think that looks pretty good, so let's go ahead and hit Keep Scan. And this is from a People magazine, so let's go ahead and go in back in here and... Uh, from what I can see here, the only issue that you know that you have is uh, with some magazines. It has a glossy, uh, glossy kind of thing going on with the paper, so you can see it kind of didn't capture that as well as it could have. But as far as the text is concerned, it looks fantastic. Um, it looks really good, and you can it's legible, and it did a good job of flattening it out. Now, like I said, the gloss from the magazine kind of messed up. Uh, certain parts of it, as you can see, it looks like it's kind of glossed over here. But besides that, uh, these pictures look pretty good. You can see everything there. You can see the um, November 5, 2018 for People Magazine there. So that's pretty nice. And again, you can go back in here. You can hit that crop button at the left. You can hit this color button. So you can make this grayscale if you wanted to, and that might help it, that might make it be uh, easier to read. Black and white will uh, also really enhance the text. It does, it does make it look like it's from a copy machine, unfortunately, but say you want to see that text clearly, that does a really great job of helping with the text there. And then if you want to, you can go to the photo here, and then you can see how it would look as a photo. Um, I do think that you know color probably looks best here. Um, it's not quite as sharp, but if you wanted just the text to look sharp, Black and white, in this case, really does a good job. Now, unfortunately, it does kind of get rid of some things here. So as you can see here, it's got the little Freaky Friday to um, show what it's talking about here. But as you can see here, it totally got rid of that top portion here. Um, if you hit grayscale, you can see that a fish called Wanda and then a fish called Wanda. So because that's in color, it's, it's best to use the color here. But if you do black and white, it's completely illegible. You can't read it any longer. So we'll go ahead and uh, save that here. Um, and then you go back in here and hit save. All right, so you have it saved in your note here. And uh, it's pretty great that you can, you know, simply just press on this here and you can send it to whoever you need to. Um, you can also go in and lock your note if you wanted to. Uh, like I said, save to your files. And if you have any other extensions that you use with iOS, um, there's a possibility that that is another option for you. So anyways, uh, that's just a quick look at uh, document scanning in iOS 12. Um, not much has changed from iOS 11. Um, oh, one thing I did forget to, to show here. You can also mark these up, so that's really nice. So um, if you go back in here and you wanted to... Um, Let's see here, and I am hitting the markup button, but it's not really letting me do it here. Okay, well maybe the markup isn't available here. Okay, you can rotate this document also, and then there's your crop button and the trash icon there if you wanted to do that. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if the markup is only for other parts here. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the markup... I may be doing this incorrectly, but I'm trying to hit markup, and it doesn't really doesn't really want to work here. Um, so that's, that's document scanning. Um, another thing you can do here is you can also take a photograph and uh, put it in a note here. So with that same plus button, you can hit take photo or video, and say we just take a picture of this water bottle just because... We'll just take a picture of this water bottle here. Bam, there you go. Now this you should be able to mark up. There you go. All right, so let's hit this. Well, 
Okay, yeah, this gives you the option to mark up. So you can go in here and, you know, select your markup here and just use the marker just to test it. There you go. So it works on photos, and I'm not sure it does. I, I'm not sure if it works on the uh, notes. Unfortunately, I believe it does, because uh, in the last video I did, I I believe I was able to sign something. So that would be helpful if you have uh, documents you need to sign and return to somebody. But this document scanning tool is a is a fantastic thing to have on the go, so you don't have to worry about uh, trying to fax something or uh, scan something from a uh, from a printer